the July week. And this morning, we want to celebrate and show our appreciation for the men and women who serve our country. I'm proud to be a son of a career military man, my father, Gene. He served in the U.S. Army. And I also know the challenges that come with being a military kid. And that's why I am honored to introduce two exceptional military children right now, Trinity Stout and Ella Forkin. They are joining us live from Jacksonville, North Carolina with their dads because they are both finalists for a scholarship from the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation. Good morning, Trinity and Ella. It's Michael Strahan. I am in New York City, and I know you think that you're talking to a local TV station, but you're really live on Good Morning America right now, so Woo! surprise. Yes. How are, you, how are you doing? How's everybody doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm glad you joined us this morning. Grab we can surprise you a little bit. And we know that you're both finalists for the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation's prestigious Simple Fidelis Leadership Scholarship. And, and Trinity, you're going to study nursing at Campbell University. So what would it mean for you to win this scholarship? Well, this scholarship means a lot to me. I'm just really grateful to be a recipient, and I just know that this scholarship is not the end, but just the beginning of what, all my achievements to come. And you know, Ella, we, we know you're headed to Georgetown. Why do you think you deserve this scholarship? Um, I'm someone who is very passionate about pursuing a career where I want to look out for others and I recognize that the scholarship um, echoes the values of the Marine Corps which is to selflessly serve others and as a result I hope that I can also um, portray those values through my education. <laughs> well you know students from around uh, across the country they apply for this scholarship but it's awarded to just a few who demonstrate leadership commitment to community and service to others so we want to show America why you both embody all of those qualities so Take a look. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And for these two daughters of Marine veterans, there is no greater compliment. Growing up in a military household, I've always heard Semper Fidelis. And to me, Semper Fidelis is more than just a military slogan. It's a guiding principle and a way of life. For Ella Forkin and Trinity Stout, Semper Fidelis, or Always Faithful, has shaped their aspirations for college and beyond. I plan on attending Campbell University in the fall and plan to major in pre-nursing with the hopes of becoming a physician assistant. Trinity Stout watched her father serve in the Marine Corps for 21 years and complete multiple deployments. His example, motivating her to get into the medical field. By going into the medical field, I plan to develop leadership skills and abilities to help make a difference within my community. For Ella Forkin, her father has been a source of strength since losing her mother to cancer just a few years ago. The Purple Heart recipient's sacrifice has inspired her to want to make this world a better place. I will be attending Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., where I plan to major in international business with minors in Spanish and in religion, ethics, and world affairs. Ella, using her passion for service to lead the National Charity League of Wilmington. Ultimately, this will allow me to help corporate organizations and nonprofits maintain a balance between people, planet, and profit to overall build a more just world. Trinity and Ella embody the Marine Corps values of honor, courage, and commitment through their commitment to their communities and their education. Yeah, that, that was great to see you, you both up there. Trinity and Ella, we are honoring you because we're so impressed that you both are finalists for the scholarship. It must mean a lot to both of you to be finalists. Definitely. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> and, and you know what's even more impressive than being a finalist? You're both winners. You're both won. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation is giving each of you a eighty thousand dollar scholarship. Wow. Well deserved. Oh well earned. Congratulations, Trinity and Ella. How do you feel right now? Amazing. <laughs> Well, if, if you weren't for a loss of words, I would be surprised. And I got to ask your dad a question. Dad, how, how proud are you of your girls? Beyond words. This yeah. is incredible. And Ella's worked hard, and she's earned everything uh, that she has in life. And it's humbling to be a part of this special Aww. opportunity. And Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation has been incredible. 
Uh, words just can't express how proud I am of Trinity. Um, I've seen the hard work that she's done. I've seen the dedication she's uh, shown and just the commitment that she's did uh, throughout the entire time. Well, we want to say congratulations, Trinity and Ella. Congratulations to your families. Dad, congratulations to you, and thank you for your service. We appreciate you all so yeah. much. And enjoy college. Enjoy college. And uh, we'll be checking in with you to see how you're doing. All right? Thank you so much.